You can use the Luma Key effect in Final Cut Pro to create some fun composites. Check out this example that uses a puff of smoke to create a cool transition. To start, edit your background video to an empty timeline. Then find a clip with some white smoke. Don't worry, if you don't have a clip like this, you can always use Apple's Motion program to generate a smoke clip for you. OK, so edit your smoke clip above your background video in the timeline. I'm going to use this speed tool to speed things up a bit. While using the speed tool, I'm going to compress and speed up my smoke so it plays much faster. Trim the clip back slightly further than you need so you can add a dissolve at the end later. Also, place the playhead indicator back a few frames so we can keyframe our smoke later. Now navigate to the Effects tab in the browser window and look for the Luma Key effect under the Key category. Drag the Luma Key effect onto your smoke clip. Then double click on the clip. Click on the Filters tab at the top of the viewer window. Adjust the threshold until you get the correct amount of luminance to key through. Next, click on the Motion tab. Click on the Insert Keyframe button for the scaling parameter. Then move forward a few frames and adjust the scaling parameter until your smoke is full frame. So now the last step is to add a dissolve at the end of the smoke clip. Right click at the end of the clip and choose Add Transition Cross Dissolve from the contextual menu. OK, that's it. Back up the playhead indicator and press play to check it out. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.